guys just getting on the road here 7 11 there as it says on the radio <clears throat> in the morning heading our way to bradenton motorsports park we just uh fueled up at wawa topped off and uh, we got about an hour and 35 minutes hour and 40 minute ride ahead of us so just uh take you along for the ride we're gonna be testing the bike um so far the only change has been the sprocket i went down a tooth I went from a 42 to a 41 on it to try to gain some more mile an hour. Um, I was missing some of that last quarter mile outing that we went to. So that's the uh, the game plan today. And then I noticed in some of my other videos how um, when it would come out and it would wheelie, if you look at the back suspension, the way it was unloading, it was unloading too fast and almost trying to hop itself. So there's probably gonna be some suspension changes going on as we get go through today. Um, I've yet to pick up a new GoPro, so there's no GoPro footage, and I don't have anybody with me to help film, so I don't know if somebody at the track, I'm meeting up with a couple buddies, maybe I can get one of them to do it, um, if not, it'll just be some periodic check-ins for, um, telling you, you know, ET, mile an hour, 60 foot, you know, the, the important stuff there, and then, uh, um, you know, just getting back to you in, in between passes. Um, I'll film some other stuff, maybe some other cars, some other bikes and whatnot, but take you along for the ride and we'll see you there. What's up everyone? Arrived at Bradenton Motorsports Park. Got Miser unloaded, kind of hard to, um, I'll get that right one of these days. There she is, out of the trailer. See the tower in the background, there's a winter circle, track behind that trailer there. There we go, better view of the track for you. There's the tower, the stands. Looks like we might have one sick wheel car maybe over there on load. Maybe not. Um, kind of thought we'd hit a few more sick wheel guys here, but they must have made their way up to Orlando. The Orlando has a test session for those guys today. So, here we are. There we are, waiting for the bike to get here. I don't know if I'm actually even gonna get to make a pass on Today, um, I charged the battery all night last night and uh, come out, pull the trailer, pull the bike out of the trailer, go to start it, and the battery is dead. So I have a charger on it now again. I don't run a charging system on this bike. So we'll see what it does. We got a little bit here before they get started and get going. So either way, we'll be here to spectate and enjoy the day. So check back in with you shortly. foremost before we get to um, this past weekend's action at Bradenton um, I wanted to talk to you about uh, some little safety things um, there was an incident this weekend at Bradenton a young lady on a motorcycle um, had some issue I can't really comment and say what the issue exactly was I just seen her go down um, and they ended up taking her out in the ambulance um, thoughts and prayers go out to her and her husband um, I, I don't know the young lady's name um, but they, they took her out in the ambulance and, um, she was complaining of back, um, pain, elbow pain. Um, good thing was that she had all safety gear. She had full leathers on, uh, full face helmet, um, gloves, boots, the whole nine yards. So, um, you know, kind of take something like that. Just kind of bring a little awareness to, uh, you know, the safety aspect of this sport that we all do. Um, 
you know, I, I mean, the past couple of videos, you see me at different tracks, I only have my jean pants on and my top leathers on because the track doesn't really push it. Well, I can tell you, you know, from here on out, you're gonna see me in my full leathers all, all the time. I mean, it only takes one time to mess things up. You know, you should have your full leather gloves. My gloves actually have the Kevlar cladding over the back of your knuckles and everything. Um, your helmet's supposed to be a Snell rated helmet. I know there's better ones that are from like over in Europe and some tracks bust your tail on that it's not correct, it's not the Snell rating and things like that. But these are all things you can't go cheap on. I mean, a cheap helmet doesn't, you know, what, what, what's your head worth? What's, what's your body worth? You know, good set of leathers, you know, thick leathers that are gonna last when you go down. I mean, it's not just a point of getting leathers to put on. I have Vanson leathers. I've been through the whole thing of having cheap leathers. Thankfully, I had no issues with, with any of them, the good leathers or the, the cheaper leathers, other than they did tear and they did wear out seemingly faster. Um, but it's it's a real wake-up call to see um, where you need to spend your money. And everybody thinks these tracks give them a hard time and people give them a hard time about safety. And, I mean, it's, it's really not. I mean, I was a complainer about it. I mean, some of these tracks I've gone to, I've sat in tech line an hour and a half just so they can look and dig my helmet apart every time and it's the same guy you know at a local track back in Pennsylvania where I used to go you know and it's just their job you know and I guess at the end of the day we can say thank you to those guys that are just doing their job as aggravating as it seems they're looking out for the best interest of you and the best interest of them I mean it's they just don't want to see anybody get hurt you know I don't want to get hurt I don't want to see anybody else get hurt so um, like I said thoughts and prayers of the young lady that went down this past weekend at Bradenton Hope she's a, a fast recovery and gets back on that bike and doesn't get afraid of it. But um, we can get into what happened with me at the track. And um, well, like I said, today's Tuesday. My battery was shot. I did, I did the, the sprocket swap on it and uh, my battery was shot. And it was dead Saturday night when I was loading up. So I let it charge all night into Sunday morning when I was heading down to Bradenton. I headed down to Bradenton, rolled it out, went to start it to warm it up, and it just it didn't hold the charge. It would do like two revolutions, and then it was dead again. Um, so I put it on for about two hours on a trickle charge while I was there, and it didn't didn't hold the charge. It would do the same thing. So um, ended up pushing it back in a trailer. I have a spare battery, but my swing arm and the holder in my swing arm was built specific for the full spectrum battery that I was running. This other my spare battery is just a battery that I had picked up to keep as a spare. It, it didn't fit so um, this week I gotta just move my oil tank around my oil tank sits a little too close over top of it that I can't get the battery in or out so I have to redo some oil lines and move some stuff around so for the next outing I'll have to do that to put that spare battery back in um, like I said I run a spectrum a full spectrum um, lithium battery it's like 720 cold cranking amps um, it's like a PS PS 10 or something like that uh, it's been a good battery it's been in the bike about five years and many times i've forgotten left the ignition on and that kills it i mean it over a couple days span it'll run it down it'll kill it and that's exactly what it did enough times and it finally just said enough was enough so it's a shame because it's an expensive battery but um i'm gonna put my spare in for now um i know it's, some people have commented on a facebook post that i made about the the noco batteries um so i'm gonna go check those out and see if i can get one and they're about half the cost and guys say they last you know a good number of years so again it's a maintenance thing you know the bike's been put together for how long and it's just something that's always worked and when it's done it's done so and and it was done so we ended up pushing the bike back in the trailer um watched i mean Bradenton had a crazy out out um i should say outcome or it had a they were packed for their test and tune that they did on sunday i mean there there's probably 30 bikes there um probably four or five harleys the rest of them were metric bikes some wheelie bar bikes some non wheelie bar bikes i didn't really take any video of those i actually ended up helping uh, a buddy of mine on with, with his car and looking at things and talking to different people and getting ideas for my s10 project so kind of a short no action video on my end from from the racing end of it but we're gonna get that battery updated and maybe possibly this sunday we're gonna go hit orlando speed world not 100 percent sure if i can break away for that i got a few other things going on um, that we need to take care of but um got to put a radiator in my truck on the way home towing the trailer home it cracked down the tank side tank so that you know leaked antifreeze all out. i made it home no issues and as of now i'm running it back and forth to work just filling it every time before i leave um because the new radiator doesn't come until friday so supply chain issues covid imagine that 
So, but that's all I got, guys. Um, you guys have a, a good week, and uh, we'll catch you on the, the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe.